What's up, YouTube? This is a short video about how to gain some uh, temperature stability with the Ryzen 9 3900X. So personally, I had been found I had found that my CPU was jumping in temperature um, about 10 C um, every five to 10 seconds, and it was really annoying me because I was trying to get my fan curve to be um, quiet and uh and and just in just in a in a range that i like it and um i was achieving that but the thing was is that the temperature variance was constantly it was going up and down it was it's annoying me to death but as you can see right now that cpu temperature is the one on the left well both of them are incredibly stable right now but but the point was is that even when there was no load there was no thing going on it was having these uh, 10 degree jumps. As you can see, there's none right now. They are, they are completely still. And um, the, the fix for that is because if you, uh, if you start digging like I did, you'll find that um, even the developers of the 3900X say that this thing, it, it goes up and down. It, um, it doesn't stay in one spot. It just kind of just goes up and down. And uh, I'm not going to try and explain why that is. That's just something that they decided to do. Uh, probably makes sense to them, and I'm probably doing something that whatever. Who cares? I don't. I don't care. Anyways, so what you basically got to do is you got to set a clock speed for this thing. Otherwise, it just keeps going up and down and up and down and up and down. And I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean by that. See, this is really low right now. This this fluctuation it's doing, but before I hit apply, so this is my setting, four thousand clock speed, all cores. And then down here, I've got my, this is the correct for my RAM. So make sure that you're, you're taking your RAM megahertz that it's rated to, cut it in half and put that in here if you got an AMD. Um, you know, that's called Infinity Fabric. Read up on that if you don't know what that is. But anyways, so I locked it into this 4000, you know, it's just like a medium clock, nothing crazy. 1.2 volts, again, you know, it's lower than the standard. I think the standard is like 1.3. So you can run this forever and it's, you're never going to have any problems. It's not too hot. It's not too crazy. It's, it, you know, it's very, it's very easy for the thing to run. And it's also very stable. Hey, you know, as you can see, we're not moving, we're not moving at all. So it, it just really, it's a small nitpick and it's something that if you do, it's going to, it's going to straighten out your, your temperature, um, stability. Uh, it was something that was annoying me, and uh, hopefully that helps you. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment. If this video helped you, leave a like and a subscribe. Um, thanks, and uh, see you on the next one.